Welcome back to week 12 of 38 in the Premier League. This is the 12th match of the season for all of the teams in the Premier League. That's eight games on Saturday, a one on Sunday and a Monday match at 8pm. So the first match of this weekend is Manchester United versus Arsenal. It's a 12.30 kickoff match on Sky Sports 1 and it's probably the most exciting match this week on paper. Manchester United versus Arsenal, two of the biggest names in the Premier League. I don't think Arsenal have had the best of records at Old Trafford and as much as United are looking a little bit shaky this season, I think Mourinho is going to try and play defensive and just counter Arsenal. Hopefully United can win this game with confidence, um, but I'm more likely seeing this game finish as a 1-0 game. Although saying that, it might finish off 2-1 and I'm probably going to say 2-1 to United. Um, that's a really hard uh, result to predict but I think United might just get the one goal in that match. Moving on to the 3pm kickoff games the first game on the list is Crystal Palace at home against Manchester City. Uh, Manchester City again not had the best of uh, results in the recent weeks I think they're going to win that game honestly they should win that game and it should be a 3-0 game for City um, so I'm going to say 2-1 to United, 3-0 to City against Crystal Palace. The next game is Everton versus Swansea City. I think Everton are going to go back into winning ways and win that game 2-0. Uh, um, I'm not too sure who's going to be on the goal scoring sheet there. I almost want to throw in a random own goal in the Everton versus Swansea game. But Everton should win that game with confidence. Moving on to the next game, it's Southampton versus Liverpool. This is probably one of the only other exciting games this weekend. Liverpool have been playing fantastic the last couple of weeks. I think they've scored 10 in two games and 14 in the last four matches. I can see them scoring a few more goals against Southampton. Um, so I'm going to say another 3-0 uh, victory there. So 3-0 for Liverpool and a 3-0 win for Man City as I mentioned previously. Moving on to the next game, it's Stoke versus Bournemouth at 3pm. Um, looking at their forms, Stoke are on a little bit of an undefeated streak at the moment. They haven't lost a game in a while, whereas Bournemouth are having a little bit of an issue scoring a goal since their 6-1 victory over Hull City. I'm going to say a 1-0 win to Stoke in that match. Moving on to the next game, is Sunderland versus Hull. Again, two teams near the bottom half of the table now. I think it's 18th and 20th in the Premier League. Uh, between them, they've only got 15 points. So if you put their points together, I think they're only like 7th in the table. I actually want to say that Sunderland might win this game. I think it's only, again only going to be like a 2-1 game. I think it's going to finish 2-1. But I think Sunderland are going to win that game. My gut is saying Sunderland. So unfortunately, Hull, I think they're going to lose 2-1 to Sunderland. Moving on to the last two games of the Saturday fixtures. Watford versus the current Premier League champions, Leicester. Um, I think Watford are going to try and win this game after the last match against Liverpool finishing 6-1. So against Leicester, I can almost see it being a 2-0 victory, especially when Casper is out injured still. So they're going to have their second choice keeper in goal for Leicester City. And the final game of the Saturday fixtures is Tottenham versus West Ham at 5.30. Tottenham have definitely got the better of the two squads and West Ham at the moment are on a little bit of a losing streak. Uh, they beat Chelsea, I think was the last game they beat. Um, when they beat Sunderland 1-0 then beat Chelsea 2-1, I don't think they've won a game since the Chelsea match. Whereas Tottenham have been have had a little bit of an issue at the moment with not scoring many goals. Uh, I think Harry Kane is now back, so the goal should be coming back as well. So I think Tottenham versus West Ham, it's going to finish 3-2. I think because it's a London derby match, I think there's going to be more than just a couple of goals. Um, so I think it's going to finish 3-2 to Tottenham in their favour. So a quick summary on the Saturday matches. I think it's going to finish 2-1 to United against Arsenal. 3-0 to Manchester City against Crystal Palace. 2-0 to Everton against Swansea. 3-0 to Liverpool against Southampton. 1-0 to Stoke against Bournemouth. 2-1 to Sunderland against Hull City. 2-0. 
to Watford against Leicester City and the final game on Saturday 3-2 to Tottenham Hotspurs against West Ham. So moving on to the Sunday match, it's Middlesbrough versus Chelsea. Chelsea are on form a bit like Liverpool at the moment, scoring plenty of goals, scoring 16 goals in the last five Premier League games, not conceding a single goal. So I think Middlesbrough are going to have to uh, step up a gear against Chelsea to try and score. I think there's going to be plenty of goals in this match. I don't think Middlesbrough are going to score any goals in this game, so it's all going to be down to Chelsea. I've already said 3-0 twice this episode, so in this match I'm going to say one more. And I think Chelsea are going to score four goals in this game against Middlesbrough. It's going to finish 4-0. It's most likely going to finish like 2-0, or because I didn't say it, it's going to finish 3-0. But because I'm predicting it, I'm going to predict 4-0. Moving on to the final game of this week's matches. This is the week of 12. Um, West Brom versus Burnley. We're finishing off in a game that's probably going to end off as either a West Brom win or a Br uh, Burnley draw. Um, or a draw in general. I think I'm going to say it's going to end off as a draw. They were only about a point away from each other in the Premier League table as well, so a draw looks even more uh, likely once you look at the table. Uh, I apologise for not doing a, a prediction video in the last couple of weeks, uh, but I haven't had the time to do it. Hopefully it's going to become a weekly series again, um, even if I can't get the facts and opinions in it and make the videos a little bit shorter. But again, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Why not check out some of my other content if you're new to my channel? And if you are new to my channel, why not sub to me and help my channel grow? Hopefully this week I get some more of the predictions right than I normally do. Guys, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please hit that like button. Sub to me if you are new. And please leave some feedback below.